Welcome to session nine. Today I'm going to draw Spider-Man from Marvel, Marvel Comics. So let's get started. We're going to draw his face on a kind of a three-quarter um, slant here. So I'm going to start right here with an oval shape for his eye and bring it up to a point and then connect it back down. And I'll make a very similar shape within that. And so again, if this is the center line kind of coming across his face here, we're gonna make the other side of his uh, face here, his eye on this side. I'm gonna come to about here and round it out. And also a shape inside of that. And from here, the outside of his eye, I'm just going to bring a line up and around to round out this, the shape of his head. And stop a little bit below his eye there. All right, um, the center of his eyes, we're gonna put a uh, kind of a rectangle rectangle shape. And, and from this is gonna be the center point of his face. So that's the, the line or the point I'm gonna connect all the lines for his mask to. I'm just gonna kind of round them um, out. So it looks like uh, his mask is three dimensional. And then over here, we're gonna take those lines and bring them this way. Uh, let's finish creating the shape for the bottom of his face. So it's gonna kind of be a diagonal and then across for his chin and then back up for his uh, side of his face. We'll leave that part open there. Uh, let's continue his mask now. For this part here, right uh, on this side of his eye, we're gonna bring a line down to the outside of his chin, one under his eye, and then on this side of his eye. And you can see as I go around, I'm just kind of spacing these lines out evenly. Uh, so now we can kind of connect this web line going across, and it's just a, a stretched out curved line. And you can see here, I'm gonna slant it diagonally down because that's the, the kind of the curve of his uh, head. So we're getting there and then kind of straight and curve it down. Here I can continue it down along the side of his face and on the bottom. And we'll do another one here. And then one more under his eye. And I'm gonna curve the, kind of curve this one diagonally up toward, toward his eye. All right, let's work on his uh, neck. It's gonna come from underneath his chin, line down, and then I'm gonna bring this line out. Uh, for the other side of his neck, I'm going to kind of continue around his head here, and it's gonna just drop down right along that side there. And then we'll bring this line out to the side. This is the center of his head here. That's the, the center line. Um, his body is gonna be centered, repositioned kind of this way here. So I'm just gonna draw that kind of center line and we'll make his, uh, his collar, his collarbone to kind of indicate where his shoulders lead to. All right, and then some lines for muscles in his neck. And over here, I'm gonna make uh, his spider symbol on his costume. It's gonna be an oval shape and then kind of an elongated diamond. And we're gonna do two, uh, two lines on this side, two lines on the opposite side. And then again, same on the bottom, two lines on this side and two lines on this side. All right, let's connect some lines for his, uh, his costume here. I'm just gonna bring down some curved lines for uh, his, his lines in his costume. And then we're just gonna connect those across with this web line. And again, as I move across, I'm kind of going in the direction of uh, the way his body is turned. just extend a line out here for his shoulder. All right, let's start to fill in some color. Spider-Man has a very simple uh, color scheme. So first I'm gonna start with black and I'm gonna outline the eye shape. I'm gonna go around his eyes.
And what I'm going to do for this one is uh, just take my time because I really want to be particular about staying in the lines and filling in all this space really neatly. I'm moving on to his other eye. Outlining those shapes and then just filling it in. Okay, the other part of this costume is going to be the spider that's uh, this color as well. switch to the red. I'm going to outline the shape of his head first. Along his neck and out to his shoulder. I'm going to outline around his eyes. Outline around the side as well. And outline the lower portion of his face. And his neck. And then a shoulder on this side. And I'm going to use the thicker part of my marker to fill in the color. And right now what I'm going to do is just go over all of the uh, lines that I made in the drawing. And I can do that because they are fairly dry um, using that, that marker that I used to make the drawing. I'm just going to continue this marker stroke all the way across. The only color, the other color that Spider-Man has on his costume is blue, which is in particular places, um, uh, kind of on the sides of his arms and so we're not really going to see that because we just made kind of a very large portrait of his, his face and the upper part of his body. I'm just going to fill this in horizontally, kind of going along with the designs in his costume. I kind of like following the contour of the costume. Um, it just looks like the, the material flows that way when you're actually adding color like that. So it looks like the, co the costume is like designed in that way. Right, I'm just gonna fill in some more space down here. Okay, 
Okay, the last part for this drawing is just a little bit more outlining on um, the lines for his costume. Because I feel some of them stand out and some of them kind of get uh, a little covered up with that red. So I'm going to go back and uh, just kind of outline some of these lines. I really like to outline it really, it does a, a few things here. It separates all of the lines, um, it cleans up your drawing, and it allows it to be emphasized. Um, emphasized is really important in art. It makes it stand out and makes all these, these areas kind of stand out. And also, if you got out of the line on a couple of lines here, you can always go back and cover it up with uh, with an outline here, with thicker outline. We can't make any mistakes. We can kind of just uh, clean them up and make it look even better. Spider, his legs. And some more of these lines in the costume. I'm not going to continue that line across the spider. I want the spider to really stand out, so I'm just going to stop and Continue. Okay, that's going to be the finished drawing for Spider-Man for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give it a try.